Hello there everybody, Oimon here and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. I just figured I'd look up at the stars and the moon and doesn't it all look just lovely and pretty and lovely and even looking down it's a bit dark, it's a bit dull but I will say the world of the Zion National Park is very pretty, it looks very good it's just a bit bland and boring Wonder where they came from. I don't know. <laughs> Someone's having to go with something down there. Hang on a second. Hello. Hi. You are apparently an enemy. I think. Hang on, let me just um Works for me. Yeah, you, your white legs were the bad guys, weren't they? Oh, hello, there's one over there, too. I see you there. Surprise! Oh, where'd you go? Oh, crap. Hold still. God damn it. Did you actually stop as I was reloading? You did. Ah, he's probably too far away. God damn it. Missed him. Well. Oh, wait. Are you actually coming up here now? Hold that thought. Whoop. I think he's too far away. I don't think any of my bullets are actually reaching him. Ooh, hello, that's a hollowed out log. I think I may have checked that last time. So yeah, anyway. When we last left off, I wasn't expecting to get distracted like that. But apparently I did. So what are you going to do? Um, yeah, when we last left off, we were... Where'd he go? Oh wait, there he is. Down there somewhere? Are you something? No, you're just a scorpion. Hello. So when we last left off, we are stuck in Zion National Park, or what used to be Zion National Park. Hello. Why do you carry all those bottle caps anyway? Mm -hmm. uh, so what the hell were we doing? I don't even remember. That's right, we were questing for items, weren't we? And we were map exploring, and we got all this bunch of stuff to do. We gotta go all the way up there this time. Okay, so if we go to there, the closest. Don't really care about looting the bodies. It ain't that important. Right. Um, geckos I don't need to worry about them because I am a f maybe not I am a friend of the animals I'm sure there'll be a way down somewhere hmm. this is a mistake this is a mistake this is a mistake and again, maybe not. Physics. In most games, it's a suggestion. All right, Ooh, there's something over there. What's that? Giant ant. You're not a fire breathing one, are you? Which means I can do this. Wait, was this a location? It was the location. It's the ant burrow. Hold that thought. I forgot to open my big list of stuff. Hang on. Where's where is it? Where is it? There it is. 
Excellent. I've got to open my big list of nice shiny things. So scroll on down. Oh, Ant Burrow. Nothing important there at all. Yeah, I mean, I mentioned this last time, but the problem with this this area is most of the locations they're not really got that much stuff to explore you know i mean they're okay for what they are but what the hell is going on over there oi wow i am rubbish with shotguns apparently Apparently I'm on fire. Right, Virgin Fork Campground, anything here? Probably, nope. Also blank and empty, I told you so. Almost every area this whole game is for the record. Ooh, okay. Take some pre-war money, why not? What happened to follow chalk? <laughs> He's around there somewhere, I'm sure he was. Hmm. Camping. Uh, okay then, let's keep going. It does look so lovely at night. It's nice, it's quiet, it's peaceful. So yeah, we had to collect up a whole bunch of stuff. Because, I mean, the quest line for this is kind of boring, personally, I think, anyway. East Fork Bridge. Because it's just like, you run around, you collect a bunch of stuff in three groups of three. And then you make a decision about whether to protect the innocence of the group, or to shave away at it a little bit and I'm like it's not really that interesting I'll be honest with you Yagwai cave huh anything in there no nothing there at all boring god there's nothing here at all anywhere Hang on a second all right let's keep going I actually hurt myself doing that. Well done, me. Hang on. I know it's not the direction I need to go in, but they. Oh dear! Well, that happened. <laughs> I don't need that kind of shit in my life. Throwing a bloody yagwai then. What's this? Burial mound. Anything there at all? No. Like, it's only about five of the places have anything of note. Like, at all. The rest of the time, it's all just miscellaneous stuff, you know? And I mean, there's nothing wrong with miscellaneous stuff. It's just, if you're going to search a place, you kind of want it to have some sort of meaning or something. But apparently not. Wind wall docks. That's also nothing, I'm pretty sure. I'm just crossing them off the list now because it's bloody easier. Um I've also got this place. It looks to be my actual I need to be here location.
And that's what you get, that's why. What's this? Zion Fishing Lodge. Also nothing there too, dear god almighty. There's nothing in any of these places. Oh, there he is. He was here all along. What are we here looking for? Pictures, cookbook, pre-war books, cabinet. Hey, Jagger. What am I here for? Is it the walkie-talkies? I think I'm here for the walkie-talkies. No, no. Yes, I am here for the walkie-talkies. Woo! Quest completed. For as long as I remember. The dead horses have thought the places of the old world were taboo. It doesn't look so spooky to me. That's because you're smarter than the rest. Get at least a little bit of ammo. Excellent. Good shit. Right, okay, that's that one done. Tourist trap. What, huh? Oh, hello. Go on, finish him off. Thank you. I really shouldn't be wasting my ammo on that. Um, right. We're going this way now. Oops. Ooh. Ooh, careful now. So those for a campground. Nope, nothing there. There's nothing here, there's nothing there, there's nothing anywhere. Fighting Is that a Cazador? I thought so. Yes, pipe. Can I get some backup healing? Something. You're fine. But you only got one bar of your health missing. Bloody baby. Oops, oh, the heck? I saw you over there. Hello. Bye bye. The green monster men aren't made. Whoa! Here we go. Never stood a chance, did they? Absolutely not. Market. 
caterpillar's mound. Well, he can bloody keep it. This mound is also nothing. I also got. See any icons in the immediate area? Where am I right now? Have I reached the top part of the map. I have reached the top part of the map. The narrows. Wait. The narrows isn't this where our found the silence? That's the sorrows territory. They're peaceful enough, but you don't want to make them mad. Well, we'll add all the markers to the map because let's not make them mad. Ah, hello, can you say hi? You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings of the Father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. I like your bear glove. Where can I get one? A sorrow's Yaogwai fist is a sacred symbol. Each sorrow makes his own. And on our shaman white. Hmm, nice. I think that kicks off that. Yep, there it goes. Uh, okay, that's fine. Well, that's another side quest I can do later. Cool. I have to forgive me, my throat's a little rough today. Sweet flower cave. Flower cave. Nope, nothing there. Oh. Sorrow's camp. Yep. I have a lot of dots around this part. I'm glad they came up in now, I almost didn't. Couldn't live next to a waterfall, the noise would drive me nuts. Ah, here he is. Daniel! The dead horse has told me details about the attack on your caravan. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. The sorrows will mourn your friends too. They mourn everyone. Even the White Lakes. They have sensitive souls. Innocent, if there is such a thing. In spite of what's happened, I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help too. What do you do here? I used to help the Sorrows with various medical problems and general issues they were having, but my bishop sent me here as a missionary. We new Canaanites believe that there is a path to salvation for everyone. And it's important that we set people on that path if they are willing. You said you used to help the Sorrows with that problem? What do you do now? I'm trying to make amends for allowing our problem to become their problem. The new Canaanites, I mean. The White Legs have always fought with us. And with Joshua returning, Caesar has motivated the White Legs to stamp out the new Canaanites entirely. That means the tribes we work with, too. It's already happened. I just want to prevent something terrible from happening to the Sorrows. Hmm. It happened before? White Legs attacking other tribes? Yes. But not just White Legs. Raiders, too. Prospectors. Slavers. Anyone who thinks they can exploit the ignorant and the innocent. We lost the Tar Walkers. And the Crazy Horns. We did our best, but we made mistakes. We paid for them. But they paid more. Mm. I'd like to get out from under that debt someday. Until then, it's enough to stop ourselves from getting deeper in the hole. I've got here already. What's your plan? To remove the sorrows from harm's way. I have to give credit to the White Legs for finding their way here. Though I imagine many died in the process. But they can't follow us east. Not into the Grand Staircase. They don't know how to live off the land. We head there. We can find some safety. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, so that'll come into play later. I'm actually technically here a little bit early, but I'm putting map markers on the map, so 
it'll all become happy and useful later on. I literally just want to put all the map markers down. Half mouse cave. Nope, nothing in there either. Ah, so many empty places. Bird cave Those, and uh, what did you call them? Walkie talkies? Those are going to be Crossroad Cave. Crossroad Cavern is empty and White Bird Cave also empty. For the record I'm saying empty of anything significant. I'm not saying they are just empty places that you shouldn't go in. If you want to explore them when you're playing, I say go ahead. I'm just saying I don't need to explore them right now. I pretty much, I'm sure I already know what I'm going to do at the end of this, and that's I'm going to get them to fight. I'm sure Daniel thinks he's doing well, but in a world such as this, people cannot remain permanently innocent. It just doesn't work that way. It's a sad fact, but it is a fact. Now, I need to find a sobbing way up. And there are no ways up. God damn it. Should have stayed up in the first place. something here maybe do we have to go through one of the caves probably have to go through one of the caves I'll check the caves then. I just want to put the map markers on my map is that really so much to ask Ooh. couldn't live next to a walk wall the noise would drive me nuts It's always like damp in the air. I have to put up enough with that just living in England. <laughs> so much damp. I mean, it's raining outside right now. It's always raining. Let's try this one. Travels. No one important. Aha. Uh -huh. Upper parts or maybe. Good enough. I'll take it. It? Nope, that's not it. Where the? Why can I not find anything? Oh, hang on. What's that? Ah, glass chime cave. There we go. Anything in that one? No. Nothing at all. I think I'm gonna have to go through here in order to get back up again. Ooh, pretty. What the? Hello. The hell are you doing in here?
Did I miss something? Oh, hello. Why are there a whole bunch of white legs in here? my thoughts on Half-Life Alex? Eh. I mean, in general, I'm... I guess kinda surprised that Valve has made another game again, but not really that surprised. Get okay. okay. Um but I mean I don't have a VR headset, I'm so up. it's what? what's next? It's hard to get excited about a game I'm probably never gonna play. You know? So I don't know. I also feel like kind of too little too late in terms of the Half-Life series. It's like, you know, you didn't want to make Half-Life 3, fine, okay, whatever, but I don't know. It's, I, I'm not really that invested in it. As I said, I don't have any VR stuff, so I am highly unlikely to ever play it. Uh, and I'm sure as hell not going to buy a VR set just to play a Half-Life game. I just, I feel like the world has moved past Half-Life now. Like, Half-Life is kind of dead. And I don't think it needs to come back. I think, you know, Half-Life has become out of date, really. It's out of date. It's unneeded. It's just generally ugh, now, you know? I mean, I'm not denying what it did at the time, but by modern standards, I just don't think it holds up as well. I'm not saying it's not fun. Of course I'm not, but... Uh, oh, there's a survivor's cache in this place. Finally! But yeah, just in general, I think there are just games that have done what Half-Life did, and they've done it better, and... Yeah, just in general, you know. So I finally get to explore all those taboo places without the other scouts yelling at me? Can't wait. Sure, if you say so, pal. Is that the right place? It must be down the other route. say thinking about it it does look at least visually very impressive they're not just running it on the half-life engine <laughs> again uh so that's good because that engine has aged well it's aged okay but yeah by modern standards it looks very rough but uh so you know i am glad that they've used a new engine for it which i suppose makes sense it'll be interesting to see if they release the engine as like you know, 
for everyone tool kind of thing. Um, that'd be interesting because they could do that because they did that with Half-Life 1, they released the Source Engine. They did it with Half-Life 2, they released Source Engine 2. And um, so it'll be interesting to see if they do something like that. Have black coffee. The game is gonna have mod support. Oh, that's cool. Um, Half Life Two used used the Source Engine. Alex uses Source Engine too. Oh, am I getting the numbers mixed up? You're probably right. Um, fair enough. Um. But uh, yeah, I mean, even so, you know, it's it's nice that they're, um, you know, allowing people to do mods for it and stuff. So that uh, that'll be good, you know, because um, I believe that the Source Engine is pretty easy to work with. Like, it's not like super easy, but it's also not like super hard either. So ooh, that's the wrong button. But um, Oh, excuse me. So, uh, again, you know, nice to see, you know, Valve, Valve have always tried to maintain a decent relationship with the gaming community. They haven't always succeeded, but they have tried, you know, they've tried to be the good guys. They've just occasionally made stupid mistakes. You know, no one's perfect. Anyway, I think that's all of the, uh, so we've got Stonebird Cave and cross that off. Excellent. Okay, so, done all that. Go back to the camp that was around. I mean, it, it's a game I may look into if I ever buy VR, but at the moment, VR's kind of expensive for there's not a lot on VR that I'd really want. I mean, I could get like Feels good to be doing Beat Saber, I guess. Could be fun. There's that Five Nights at Freddy's game that looked kind of interesting. Half-Life would add another one to the list, but you know, a lot of money for... Oh, hello. Spore plants, yeah. What about all those? Anything up here? I forget. Let's find out. So yeah, I mean VR is something I will consider picking up in the future, but it's it's not a high priority for me, you know? Just no point. Oh hello. Guy running around down there. There is. How about that? Pop. So who knows? I mean, maybe if I get super mega ultimately popular here on Twitch and I start raking in the big bucks, maybe I'll invest in a VR headset and you can watch me play that. Oi! Get
Uh oh. Ooh. Oculus is a cheap VR headset that Alex would work with, costs about $200, and if you got the Valve Index, which is about $1,000, you get Half-Life Alex for free. I should film my so at that price. Um, also saw in a video that you can play the game sitting in a small space, that it's not that you need a massive space. I'm not saying you have to enter in some of the arguments I see. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not massively invested in the Half-Life series. I like the games well enough, but that's about it. Um, so in the end, it's really just the case of, I'll get around to it, I'll play it when I can, but I'm not in a rush. I mean, it is nice to see Valve making games again, and if Alex sells well, and they're kind of bolstered, by that, it'll be interesting to see what comes out of this from them. Like, I'm curious to see where Valve is going to go after they're done with Half-Life Alex. Because, I mean, I'm assuming it's going to get decent reviews. I mean, Valve may take a long time to develop their games, but that's because they actually give a shit. You know, they're not one of these devs that will release a game early and full of bugs you know they games tend to be not perfectly bug free that's probably impossible but you know they always tend to be of a good solid high standard they tend to be relatively bug free and so you know valve had a good reputation in the gaming community for a reason you know, it wasn't just because, oh, they own Steam and they're so everybody fawned over them for it. No, they had good, uh, they had good reason to, uh... Alex ends up doing well. 2021 Valve changes their logo to a 3, announces Half Life 3, Team Fortress 3 left with their 3 and 4 to 3. Eh, that'd be interesting. Wasn't there that joke running around the internet? Like, I think it was like 15 years ago now. Yeah, probably not that long ago. It must have been about 10 years ago now that they were going to release. Um. They were going to release Half-Life 3, Portal 3, and Left 4 Dead 3. I don't think Team Fortress 3 was counted in that. but And it was going to be called the Yes, We Can Count to 3 bundle or something like that. I think I remember that. What was the name of that place I just discovered? I've already forgotten that. I can't see a bloody thing. Uh -huh. Oh, there is a survivalist cache here. Yay. Good for you, pal. I'm going in here. Okay, do I need like anti venom or something? C can I can I please get some anti venom? Um That was like 10 years ago that that joke was popular. People, you know, people figured that Half-Life 3 would happen eventually. Or, you know, Half-Life 2 Episode 3, I should say. I mean, this is the thing. I'm not even sure if I really want Valve to make a Half-Life 3. Can they just, like, make some new shit? I mean, it's, it's Valve. I'm pretty sure if they did something new, people would lap it up. I 
The next Half-Life game is Half-Life 4. <laughs> that would be quite funny. It's like, oh, we're skipping three. It'd be like um, Red Dwarf, where there, there, there wasn't a season nine, but they keep joking about how the events of season nine were the greatest things to ever happen to them. All right. Um. Okay, we're still going to do that right now. Oh, we're close. We're quite close. Okay. Um, I was going to look at the apparel because I picked up that. It's heavier but with better damage threshold. Hmm. I'll consider keeping it. to uh, somehow miss that. I don't know exactly how, but apparently I did. What's that? Oh. Whoa. Here we go. Hello. Of course, the next Half-Life game could be, uh, you could, they could do a prequel like Half-Life Zero, where uh, you play as Gordon Freeman, but before the Black Mesa incident, and it's just him working as a scientist in a lab, and it's really boring. And again, if anybody could make uh, working as a scientist in a lab exciting, it would probably be Battle. I know I'm here for a reason, I just don't remember what it was. Oh, hello. stuff I don't want there. Ooh, the neck. 
Eh. Whatever. Open sesame. That compass thing always knows where to Hmm. I thought so. You're your own master now, Pooch. Mm. Ah, put my neck. I'm actually very tired today for some reason. No idea why. Hopefully I'll be able to do three hours, so we'll see what happens. Ranger station, huh? I hear some odd things about the civilized lands outside Zion. Is there really a giant thunder lizard people live inside? <laughs> no. They don't live inside it. They live in the area around it. Stupid question. Next. So what's the name of that place? That was Ranger Substation Osprey. Hmm, Osprey. All named after birds, because of course they are. station. Nothing there. Uh-oh. Hmm. Well done. What the hell am I here for? I have no clue. Like it's mostly intact, several sterile bandages have been broken open. The disinfectant bottle is leaking. You can try to salvage what there is, or you can find replacements for contaminated organs and use alcohol to re sterilize the bandages. And the high proof alcohol requires one starch. I sterilize the kit with alcohol. I should have all of that. Yay!
Hmm. Excellent. The general store. How general? Ah, yes, the snow globe is in here, isn't it? Yes, you don't have to tell me that so specifically, thanks. See the stars? There it is. Sweet. And 2,000 free buckle caps because you don't even have to sell these ones. Whoa, hello. Excellent. All right, so we got the stuff in the general store. Oh, lovely weather. I feel like I'm home. Oi. Oops. Careful now. We just went up. Uh, the name of this place I just found? North Fork Bridge. Nope, nothing there at all. Fair enough. That back when medicine smells funny. Guess it works though. <laughs> Quite right. No matter what it smells like or what it tastes like, if it works, it works. I guess it's time for a quick break. <sighs> mm. Alright. 
So we will take a quick three minute ad break and we'll be back hopefully before you know it. And I'm back. Hello. Okay, right, so we're still exploring, but that's fine. That thing actually flew once? Yes, it did. Like well metal bird? Who and what is going on right now? Get out from behind that rock. Thank you. Well, here's interesting. You see, whenever I play ads on Twitch, it actually disables pre-roll ads for brief periods. It used to be 20 minutes. Now it's a full half hour. Hmm. Nice to see they've adjusted that. Something or something chasing after me. Oh, no, hang on. So that's an interesting change they've decided to make. Not complaining. Half an hour of no pre-roll ads for people who come a wandering on in. Good for them. Hello. Can we get up to there? Can we even get up to there? I don't remember. Nope. Morning Glory Cave. Hey, up. Oh, speaking of A up, this is a survivalist cache in here. Just what I was looking for. Ah, crap. Really nothing special. Oh. Crap. Goddamn bear traps. Aha, that one I saw. Where the hell is that cash? Ah, there it is. Nope, oh, that's just a regular bag. So where's the actual cash? Show me the money. Oh, hang on. Aha! I see it now. Fuck. Mm. Hey, I have a key for it. Wait a minute. Excellent. Right, off we go. One more survivalish cache crossed off the list. Mark that off there. Come on. 
There we go. So we've got two left to find, apparently. Oh, let me neck. Oh, wake up. Come on. You can do this. You've done it before. some odd things about the civilized lands outside Zion. Is there really a giant thunder lizard people live inside? No. I told you that before. Stop asking. Bye bye, Mr. Rad Scorpion. Nice to have my little list. Ooh, careful now. Damn it. I'm probably Nikki. Get up there. Get up. That's Cat's door. That's not good. Bend bridge. Bend bridge, bend bridge. Ooh, hello. No, not that. The giant bug in front of you, not the tiny little one in the distance. Personally, every time I hear the name Dagger, all I think of is Final Fantasy IX. They don't have anything as nasty as the outside, so where you come from, huh? You have no idea. And you never will. Oh shit. Gotcha. Can I get some backup healing? Oh, you're fine. Quit complaining. Man up.
So Name. I finally get to, to explore all those taboo places. Shut up. Right. Without the other scouts yelling at me? Can't wait. <laughs> that could have gone a little better. Come on. What's it? Ooh, like the shadow of a ghost. Hey. Oh, no. I got it. GG, screw you. <laughs> it was an accident. The cliff was bigger than I thought. God for that, the rain finally let up. Not in real life though, sadly. It's still raining. It's always raining. Nope, started again. Red Rapids. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, now. Nice serves. That's the passage where I came in. Ain't that just spiffy? If I can get far enough in to actually tag one of the locations or not, I don't think so. I think the giant rock blocks your path, doesn't it? We don't need to go any further into there.
further on down there. Wait, where is he? Oh, probably go way up there for some reason. No, oh, good for you, I suppose. Oh, back to you. And go north from here. Good thing about putting all the map markers on the map now is that once I'm done and go and turn in the uh, the quest. Actually, where is my quest? Oh yeah, now I've got to go talk to Daniel, so that's, that's what that would have been, see? Because once I've got all the map markers on the map, I can do pretty much everything I want to right off the bat. Virgin River. That's my nickname. So I finally get to explore all Shut those up. places without Jesus the other Christ. scouts yelling at me. Can't wait. Two skies cave. Oh, actually, there is something in this one. Actually, let me just put the bridge on the map real quick, and we'll be good to go. Two skies cave. Old Rockville Bridge. Yeah, another boring place. Not that many left, and about a dozen or so. Excellent. Because once we're done with all this, then we can focus on um, you know, completing stuff. Like the And actually doing the DLC. One of the things I love doing is just wandering, you know. Ah. I think I can do an average lock terminal. Religions! Way first time. Always like you want to get it first time. It works. a bloody thing in it. Right. Oh really? Was that all? Huh. Oh. thought I still had one left to find. Oh maybe I'd already found that and forgot to mark it off. That's entirely possible knowing me. Or maybe you only need Maybe you only need five of them, but there's actually six in total. That's actually perfectly acceptable. See it for a second then. So I finally get to explore all those taboo places without the other scouts yelling at me? Can't wait. Apparently. Although you're probably gonna suffocate to death before that happens.
All right, I think we can get the heck out of here now. Excellent. Well, that was Two Skies Cave, I think. Hopefully. Yeah, we've still got this sort of central area to explore. This little bit down here, too. Hmm. All right, northeast of it. Someone's finding someone, I guess. Damn it, we gotta find these two points. What's this? Oh, can another camping ground fit? North Fork Campground, yay. That worked. Gotcha. Hooray. Feels good to be doing some actual scouting, not just following. So good, I'm so happy about that. Get to finally live your dream. I need to find a way up this mountain to get that next one. What was this area called? It was North Fork Campground. Mm hmm. <coughs> hmm. Is there a way up here, or am I just being weird? folks used them to talk to each other on the air. Not like with signal drums. They could actually talk. Amazing, huh? Ah, uh, yeah. Killing ten Yagwai gets you bonus things, so uh, we should probably go bear hunting at some point. Need to work out best place to find them. I don't think there are specifically like ten Yagwai. I think it's just a case of hey, find ten Yagwai, kill them. Seems like the most appropriate reaction. I think there was one around here. 
I don't know if it wandered off. Got distracted by something and went to kill him. Or maybe that was the one I was chasing after. Hold that thought. So, that's another one gone. There's a big corner down there. I don't need to worry about that. Uh -huh. <sighs> Keep going to north. Sun Sentinels. Mark that one off. I did, I'm an idiot. Hmm. Okay. Oops, wrong button. That's all of that. Whoop. I really gotta be more careful with that. Oh, who sees me? Oh, hello. You're annoying. Okay, well done. <laughs> I hate it when it does that. It's like, I did not make that kill. Why are you zooming in for me? Like, no, you must see it. Hello. around here somewhere. Hmm. My tea's gone cold. It's horrible.
Hello. Jaguar snuck up on me. That's nice. God damn it. Ah, crap. It's ages ago. Fighting time. The spitter plants and the green monster men aren't native to Zion. Wonder where they came from. Where am I? No, it's not too far back. God. Ages ago I last saved. Need to make a habit of pressing the quick save button a little more often, I think. No, I think we went down here, didn't we? Hello. Wasn't the way I went before. Nikumpa! I could use some help here. Nope, you got it. Damn it, I've gone completely the wrong way. are going to be loads better than signal drums and smoke signs. Yep, yes they will. Now where am I going again? North. Damn it, stop doing that. See, I can do that too. Sadly, the Yagwai that were originally down here do not seem to have spawned in this time. Which means I can't kill those two that I wanted to. <sighs> Sigh, what a shame. Let's see if we can do this with a little less, you know, death. Oh. 
Nope, they're coming on down. Hello, Mr. Yaguai, come on down. Oh, not like that. Works for me. Wait, I'm about to level up. Twenty-two dwellers camp. Ooh. Yay! All right, first things first. Let's low. Let's mark that one off. Come on. What's my next level up gonna be? Oh, wait, we're level thirty-two. Is it new perk time? <gasps> it's new perk time. And the perk I'm gonna get is where is it? Um, gotta find it first. That's the problem with these perks is they're really, 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 really. There it is, gunslinger. Because we're kind of running out of otherwise useful, useful ones. At least for my type of gameplay. Cocktail. Oh, well, you want to know where all the spore guys are from? Now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Stand right and scroll down. They aren't from around here. Take all of that. Because why the hell not, I guess? Find the Yagwai. Hello, Mr. Big Horner. Now. Ah, uh, yes. Don't I have to come here later? With Yes, I do. I remember that. Now, first, let me go to the bridge. One more area I need to check. But I'm not. 100% sure if I can, but um, we'll see what happens. Really? You're going to crash on me now? Where is it going to leave me off? I am... Oh, exactly where I... Uh, Oh, that's right. Of course, when you oops, wrong one. when you go to fast travel, it always creates an auto safe, doesn't it? That's good. I'm glad about that. Pine Creek up there. Supposedly, it's one of only two ways out of Zion Valley. Of course, without a map, good luck surviving. Mm. Let's go have a look. I think it'd be fun. Let's go exploring.
Pine Creek Tunnel. Alright. Now. Let's see. I think that's every major location marked. It's hard to tell. that one. Oh yeah, we also got that one. Clearwater Docks? Is that a place I forgot to mark off, maybe? Just... Let me pull that up. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> Alright. Let's compare. We got all that, we got that, we got those two. Got that one, we got those three. There, then we got the three across there, three into there. Got all of them, got them. Got those ones, got that one. We're missing one. And it's an easy one to get to. Is it one more marker and then we've got all of them? And I was wrong actually, I wasn't missing one um survivalist cache. I'd forgotten to cross one off from my list from earlier. That was why I thought I had another one left. There were no more survivalist caches. I've shown you all of them. Here we go. Blue water docks. See, I knew it was there somewhere. Right, we'll keep that around just in case. But aside from that, I think it's fair to say we can mark off all the locations of So now we just need to keep an eye on that. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Brilliant. Okay, let's continue with the quests. <clears throat> Daniel, I have news. There you are. I'm glad to see you're still with us. Every time we need a few things, I think this is everything. Well, I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but, well, they're ignorant. <sighs> Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them. So I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a gentile, or, uh, no offense. <laughs> These supplies are a godsend. But if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention, I need you to go back into the valley. Specifically, I need you to scout out some locations for white legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase, a wilderness area to the east. There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of experience. I, I can help. I'll do what I can. I appreciate the enthusiasm. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who isn't kin. Since you've been poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the White Legs. One of the Sorrow's hunters, Waking Cloud, has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for staying out of sight. After this, it's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. And hopefully, you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. Yay! Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, here we part ways. I needed back at the dead horse's camp. Are you sure? I regard to Joshua then. I will. Good going. Bye bye. Fine, I don't need you anyway. Daniel said that I was to travel with you until you have completed your scouting. Sounds good. Let's go. Certainly. Yay. Okay, so another three quests pop up. Uh, river monsters, treacherous roads, advanced scouts, and the grand staircase. Let me just pop these off the map. So we got four now, and then things start to go towards the end. But we also have a small side quest that I feel I want to do. So where is the best my bird's cave? I can't fast travel from this location. Screw you! I forgot it treats it as a bleeding. Mm. I forgot it treats it as a like a, an inside location for some reason where you're not allowed to fast travel out of the place. You can fast travel in, or you. Oh, that's probably why actually, because he wants to have a word with you. Right? It might be. I think. I By the think rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it even to the foundation. O oh, daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Do you know what it means? You don't want to leave Zion. You'd rather kill every last one of the White Legs. Given those two choices, yes. In the best of all possible worlds, they would just leave us in peace. But they won't. I don't enjoy killing, but when done righteously, it's just a chore, like any other. Practiced hands make for short work. And the good Lord knows there's much to be done here. <sighs> This conversation just got pretty dark. What was that about? Happy dashing the little ones? <laughs> Happy are those who do the work of the Lord. Zion belongs to God and the people of God. It is a natural temple and monument to his glory. When our Lord entered the temple and found it polluted by money changers and beasts, did he ask them to leave? Did he cry? Did he simply walk away? No. He drove them out. It is one thing to forgive a slap across my cheek, but an insult to the Lord requires... No. It demands correction. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. I and the dead horses are prepared to do what must be done to protect Zion from the White Legs. And though Daniel won't accept it yet, there are many sorrows who are also prepared. They may not be warriors, but this is their home. If you have a chance to speak with Daniel about this, ask him to consider defending Zion instead of abandoning it. He has good intentions, but I fear that if we evacuate the sorrows from this place, it will be lost to them and us forever. Fun fact, his melee option is the gun flipped around and it's actually considered a separate weapon in the game's files. Is it really? That actually doesn't surprise me. Fair enough. Um, okay, so yes, now I think we can tell. But yeah, okay. It's, I, I, like, yeah, I had it in my mind that like you could teleport from that location, but I wasn't sure. You can add it to your inventory with console commands. That's cool. Well, hello there. Hola, outsider. Welcome, child of omens. You come to receive visions of truth? What does Seek that mean? Seek medicine plan. Return with sacred datura root. Receive visions of truth. They guide you. We already got them. These roots make sacred vision tea. You drink, you see path before you. Ready? 
Let's do this. Great. You go to cave. Find ghost of she. Lay ghost to rest. Ooh. Oh, I'm tripping balls, man. All right, let's get this done. Now we gotta go. Yeah, <clears throat> ghost den. Fortunately, it's already on my map. Uh -oh. You leave me no choice. Wow, you're good. Hey, young white hunter. Gotcha. So, this is the ghost of She's Lair. I was never brave enough to try to fight. It's a young white that's on fire. I'll fight you if I must. It's a lot of young whites that are on fire. Hello. Wake up. This is not the most pleasant place I've woken up. <laughs> no kidding. Right. It's a nice easy one. Let's go. Does ghost of she like? It's done. Then visions of truth are at an end. Will you learn from truth? Maybe yes, maybe no. Only for you to decide. Mm -hmm. Here, take. Gift to remind you of vision. Thank you. Excellent. Right. Well, that's that done. All right. So that was right. Passage. Uh, <laughs> okay, now hold that thought one second. I need to look something up real quick. Actually, you know what? I can wait until later. Um, let's go do something else. Don't know what. Okay, what have we got to do? What's my next? What's River Monsters? Yagwai Cave. Yay. What are we supposed to do here exactly? I don't know. Let's find out. Yagwai. Even our strongest hunters could not hope to kill so many. There must be a nest nearby. What do you propose? Fighting so many at once is a danger. This many so close together suggests a nest nearby. If we find it and destroy How? Did Daniel not give you some of the new Canaanite's fire clay? Look around and see if you can... Better get to work then. I... All right, so do we need to actually place it in the cave or outside the cave? I forget, exactly. Hmm. Excuse me, coming through. Key points in the cave, they say. and protect us your we pass like moonlight on still water mm -hmm.
There's one. Oh, oh, lemonade. It's five o'clock already. Well, in that case, we're going to have to just pause for now and we'll continue the rest in a moment. So, thank you for watching. No, in fact, no, not thank you for watching. We're not done yet. It's only five o'clock, not six o'clock. That's just wishful thinking on my part. That's what it is. All right, so yeah, we shall be back in just three minutes. And we are back. Okay. Here we go. Swim through car. Gotta find a place for all those C4 points. Just so we can seal up a bunch of giant bears. Well, let's say giant bears. They're actually regular sized bears. But that doesn't stop them from being absolutely sodding terrifying. Maybe not. Let's go back the other way, shall we? <laughs> it looks like an exit, but it's not an exit. I don't know where that other one actually is. We don't want to go in there because that's kind of the point. The point is to avoid it. Maybe I missed it back in the previous area. Let's find out, shall we? Oh, it seems to be straight ahead. Was it under here somewhere and I missed it? That's actually very possible. Hang on. Wait. I wish you could have met my family. You would like them, I think. Ah, yes. Well, we'll be dealing with that soon enough. It's definitely around here somewhere. Is that it? Nope, that's the skull. Bloody hell. So it's either up from that point or down from that point, and I don't know which. Oh wait, was that just... Was it just the three points? No, there's definitely another one in there. Or maybe not, maybe there was just the three. God damn it, I don't know. Alright, where's that mining detonator? Items, weapons... Mining detonator... Okay, let's do this. Hey, that worked. Hey! Might also have to kill some Nagwai over here. I'm gonna do that too. Because why would I not do both? So at least I'm getting plenty of experience out of all these little quests. This is Fine Creek, one of the only ways out of Zion Valley. Watch out, many. You leave me no. Uh oh. This land is crazy. Woo! By the way, I need to talk to you about something. Cut to be you. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What's your Waking deal? Waking Cloud is my name. I am midwife to the sorrows. It sounds ill omen, no? Midwife to sorrows. Midwife? I haven't seen any children around. The children and the old have already been evacuated from the camp. They are safe enough, unless the white legs come for us in force. <laughs> What do you do when you're not delivering babies? I tend to other hurts and sicknesses that afflict our tribe. 
I also scout the valley for the herbs I use in my medicines. Okay, that was it. Any family? I do. A fine husband and three children. I miss them each day, but I take comfort in knowing they are safe. Safe? Where are they? When we learned that salt upon wounds had defiled Zion with his presence, Daniel ordered the children, the old, and the sick evacuated from the camp. My husband volunteered to lead the hunters that went with them for protection. I tried not to worry about them, but we have had no news for so long, and Daniel seems sad when I ask him about it. Sad and a little frightened. I could talk to him, maybe he'll open up to Perhaps him. he will. I sometimes feel he thinks he must protect me. If he has news, I And that should kick off. There it is, a family affair. Excellent, okay. There's another quest we can do. That's quite a nice quick quest, thankfully. Do that nice and quickly. Family picture. Well, let me just... World of time. No, that was River Monsters. We've got a family affair on the go. It's a relatively quick quest. We talked to Daniel, then we talked to what's her name again. Hello. I'm glad to see you're still with us. Tell me about Waking Cloud's family. What um what do you want to know exactly? I'm sure she could tell you much better than I. Did you help the rest of her family leave Zion? I did. What's the matter? Did something happen? Her three children are safe. They made it north weeks ago and met up with new Canaanites heading east. Her husband didn't make it. He died protecting their children from a white leg attack. Do not tell Waking Cloud. She is one of the only sorrows who can communicate easily with us, and her tribe needs her to be strong right now. It's her husband. Don't you think she has the right to know? To everything, there is a season. Who are you or I to put this heavy burden on her now? You're supposed to lead these people, not hide things from them. I know, you're right. I shouldn't have hidden it from her in the first place. I just... We can't fail here again. Zion can't become the next new Canaan. The Sorrows don't deserve that. They don't deserve any of this. Sometimes I look at them and wonder if they would have been better off if those old trails had stayed forgotten. If we had never found any of them. <sighs> Tell Waking Cloud. Hmm. Well, I've got some bad news, love. Katubil. I would highly recommend you don't lie to her about her family. She basically has two endings in the end card slides. The good one is if you tell her the truth. The bad one is if you lie to her. So, as much as it might hurt, I gotta tell her the truth. What? No. You must be mistaken. <coughs> would have told me. I'm afraid Daniel kept on you because he thought the grief would distract you. How? How dare he? What gives him the right? I thought Daniel was my friend, but he cares nothing for the sorrows. <sighs> He was only doing what he thought was best to try, it wasn't an easy choice for him. Perhaps. I will have to have a very long talk with Daniel when all of this is over. Thank you for telling me this truth. Nah, the truth hurts. Alright, so I also need to... I need to go back to... Dead horses camp because I need to talk to Bola's chalk again. Hopefully he's somewhere that's visible. There he is. Hello. Good job getting those supplies to Daniel. If you were a dead horse, you'd get a tattoo for that. Okay. Uh, tell me about this area and the interesting wildlife. Mostly it's the mountain bighorners. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. Usually they're not too aggressive, but lately, whew, my guess is one of the calves got lost somewhere along the way. Bighorners are communal. One missing calf, and the whole herd gets ornery. If that calf doesn't turn up soon, they might very well come down into the valley and attack the camp. Can I help? Yeah. Hey, thanks. 
Most of the hunters don't listen when I tell them the problem. Just one thing. Try not to kill any bighorners if you can, yeah? You'll drive the herd off and we'll have to range farther on our hunts. What would you suggest I do instead? Hmm. You might try luring the baby out with some banana yucca. These bighorners go crazy for the stuff. All right, I'll look into it. That's. Nope. Also, don't go disappearing yet. What can I tell you? What's this obsession you seem to have with civilization? Let me tell you a story. When I was a boy, a man came through the valley with one of the caravans. Tall man, big mustache, carried a guitar. I asked what he did for his living, and the interpreter told me he was a singer. What is that? I asked. The man explained that he went from place to place and sang for people, who gave him food and shelter and care in return. I couldn't believe that there was a place in this world where a man could do that. I promised myself then that one day I'd explore that world myself. Hmm. I know that guy. I got him a job. A job as a singer? Then it really is true. What does Joshua think of this? I, um, I haven't told him yet. Never had the growins. Well, maybe I could talk to him about it for you. Be a neutral party. You'd do that? Sure. Sounds smart to me. Alright. Anything else? Talk to you later. Civilized man's burden. Okay, so we'll do that one first. Because it's the easier of the two. Whew, I'm getting cold. Okay, he's over here somewhere. There he is. Sorry to wake you up. Hi. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Oh, so it seems like he's interested in seeing more of the world. I thought he might. It's been some time since I've visited civilized places. I don't have fond memories of them. But I have always seen these places from the outside. I'd rather not influence him more than I already do. Why don't you talk to him? You know that means I'm going to encourage him to leave, right? Follows Chalk needs more guidance in his life. Just not for me. Hmm. <coughs> so you can literally dictate what the guy is going to do with the rest of his life, because... Fallout logic, I guess. <sighs> here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. Again, much like, uh, what's her name? Uh, he has two ending cards. You either convince him to stay, and he sort of stays as a productive member of the group, and he's all sort of happy with that, and, you know, he, I think he ends up having, like, kids and stuff. Um, uh... Yeah, I mean, it, it's not really like, um, uh, it, it's not really like a sort of, uh, like a good karma, bad karma kind of thing. It's more of a case of, in one ending, he stays with the group. In the other ending, he just leaves. And that's about it, really. Um, it's very simplistic sort of stuff, you know? Uh, anyway, so I think... Hmm. I think I know what I'm going to do with this. What can I tell you? Okay, I'll talk to Joshua about your thoughts on civilization. Yeah? What did he say? I think you should go out and buy it. It's a great game series. He says it's a hard time being objective about the whole idea and that I should be giving you advice. He said that? Well, I guess you have been out there more recently than he has. So, what's your advice? You stay here with your people, you have a duty to them. Civilization ain't perfect, but neither is tribal life. You should go see it for yourself. Yes. Really? You think so? Whew. I'm going to do it. After all this is over, I'm going to go explore civilization. Dankney, Akis, I never would have had the Growans to ask him myself. Mm-hmm. Points. Excellent. Now we'll get back to big corners. Just, this is just me knocking off all the side quests. What on earth? Where do we gotta go this way? 
Wait a minute. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, find a way. Ah, that's right. Of course, I gotta go to cliffs. Can I go up there naturally, or do I, don't I have to go through a cave? No, oh, then again, maybe not. Coming through. Don't kill any of the big horns. Okay. I will do what I can, but if they attack me first, I make no promises. When Salt Upon Wounds took New Canaan, he ordered the White Lakes to salt the earth so nothing could grow again. What kind of monster could do that? One that really likes salt. I mean, it's in his name. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> you know, my throat still has not properly recovered from that cold I had a couple of weeks back now. Oh, well. That's the way it goes, I suppose. I mean, I do kind of wear it down every single day, so... Mm, I don't know. Hello. Would you like some yucca? Yeah, man, then. Another Yaka. You gotta keep doing this. Oi! Come on. It is good to travel with your mother. I spend so long scouting on my own that I forget what human company is like. Eh, it's overrated. All yours. See? I'm even nice to animals when I'm not busy killing them. <laughs> Shh! Don't tell them! They're really stupid. Wake up. I've got a quest to turn in. What can I tell you? Ah, uh, didn't even kill any of the big oh, corners. Glad to hear it. That'll be some happy mama, huh? Thank you. Really, it means a lot to me. All right. Woo! Now we do have a few more side quests left, but they are only active during like the third act of this DLC. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Ooh, so much stuff. <laughs> Hello. We pass like moonlight on still water. Ooh. Really? This is the only sure path from the Narrows to Pine Creek. They will be cut to ribbons by these traps. <sighs> not going to come by, but the white legs you place them are still around. I suspect you are right. Perhaps we should try to find them before. Hmm. Disarm the traps if you can. Our advantage. All right. Let's take care of it. Oh, hello there. Thank 
Thank you. Thanks for the assist. Scorpion. Aya. You leave me no choice. And up, up, up. Father, I ask that you guide this woman who is the vessel of your will. Show Shush. her the light of your wisdom. And the peace of your love. Amen. Don't worry, I've already found his survival caches. I'm fine with that. Oh, is that it? Hmm, fair enough. Whee. Whoa, that's a lot of experience. I leveled up again. Woo! I don't know why I was like jumping when that happens. <laughs> Something silly about it. I don't know. Right, okay. Oh, goody. Hey, look. Everything's at 70s or more. Brilliant. I love that. Right. Got so many more levels to go. Right, what quest we got next? Advanced squads. Wipe out the white legs encampment. A big one. Bluff. Steal the white legs. War totems from the encampment to deal with white legs camping in general. Big one. Bluff. Some enemies down there. Hello, guys. That's the wrong button. Surprise! That didn't work as well as I'd hoped. <laughs> this one is, is it now? I really need to get a better shotgun. Hang on, where'd that first one go? You can nikumpa me. Say I you. Ah crap, now I'm stuck. Hello! Do you mind? I'm busy over here. I don't blame you. Weird. Ah oh well, who the hell cares? Right, let's keep going. Got to get all of the stuffs. <laughs> Much better. Now we can actually do this. Right. Um, so there's some things over there. I need to get a better gun. Whoops. Fuck! <laughs> I guess I wasn't paying attention to my health bar, was I? I was like, no, don't worry, I can tank whatever they throw at me. Apparently I can't. <laughs> Always got to. What do you mean? I've just killed them all. There are no enemies nearby. So, oh, who and where? All right, where the hell did these pricks all come from? Hello. Come here.
Ah, wrong person. Shut up. I'm using this one because it's got ammo. Not about whether it works or not. Oh, shush. I really need better weapons than this shit I've got. Right. Let's try this again, this time with a little less dying. One would hope. The river is lovely at this time of night, don't you think? Are you trying to seduce Those me? Those tents down there, that is a white leg war camp. Do you see the war to white leg warriors pray? Hmm. The totems are sacred to them. Good to know. Yes. Hmm. Okay then, let's get down there and take care I of this. I will business. follow your command. Use this gun when I want people to go away for good. I call it my sod off shotgun. That's about right. You leave me no choice. Holy crap. Oh, you got strong shit. Hello. Oh, this gun sucks too. Hello. Fucking Cazadors. I got plenty of them. Is that it work? normal to hurt all over after a battle? Um, if the battle went as badly as that one did, actually, yes. <sighs> mm, carrots. Mm, carrot. Okay then. We pass like moonlight on still water. We're fighting when something. When salt upon wounds took New Canaan, he ordered the white legs to salt the earth so nothing could grow again. What kind of monster could do that? Out of the way. Stop ducking. Even my best Arabs won't work if I'm dead. I need help. Devil! I have this under control. Are you sure this weapon actually works? Easy. Shush. It was easy. All right. Wow, there was a young boy here. Hmm, good on you guys. All right. Well then, I guess that's your lot. Grand staircase. Find a map. Right, we gotta go into Morning Glory Cave. Wasn't I in there before? I don't remember finding a map. Oh, and the cave just crashed. It didn't even freeze. It just outright crashed on me that time. Wow. Haven't had that happen for a while. Let's try that again.
apparently it's in here somewhere, even though I've already been in here and already looked through it. I must have missed it. That was not there before, I'd already looted it. Woo! We should not be here. This place, it belongs to the father in the caves. We must not profane it with our touch. Well, a bit late for that. What are you talking about? The father in the caves. The holy father who gave the sorrows his succor and gave the new Canaanites his son. Many of the caves around the valley are sacred to him, and those who would trespass are punished by holy wrath. Well, I'll keep an eye for that, but it looks a lot like a bear trap. <laughs> I'm in the case of just a man who lived a long time ago. But we need to search the cave. I understand. Yeah. Got to at least be try to be polite to these people. I don't want to be that much of an ass. Actually, no, I don't really care, but... Um, Shh, I've already grabbed it. <laughs> By the time she caught up with me, I'd already been in there and was on my way out. It's like a bit of a redundant conversation. All right. Off to the gathering store. I have seen many strange plants in the valley. Plants that seem to hunger for human flesh. I'm glad to see you're still with us. All right, checked everything in the valley and got you the map of the Grand Staircase. I appreciate it. Well, that's it. This is all we need. Now all that's left is to quietly pack up and try to get out of here without being noticed. Hey. That's assuming that Joshua won't try to stop me. And that he hasn't talked you into fighting the White Legs despite what I've said. Don't worry, I don't hold it against you. You're a... an outsider. Fighting seems like the practical solution. It is. I'll tell you again. There's more at stake. No, going back. Whether you just, whether you decide whether the sorrows, too many weathers. Whether you should decide whether the sorrow should fight or flee, your decision will set their destiny irrevocably in motion. You will be unable to finish any remaining quests in Zion once you make your decision. So choose it why. There are no more quests, because I've already done all the side questing for this, so that's not really an issue. Let me just double check. Yeah, because I did all that. And then we've got those three are gone. So yeah, it's going to be either Crush the White Legs or Flight from Zion. I've done both, because um, you have to in order to get the achievements, of course. In general, personally, I feel like wiping out the White Legs is the better option. Because it's like... Well, if you flee, the white legs, sure, okay, if they try to follow you, they'll end up dead. But the white legs are a problem that needs to be removed at some point, so it might as well be here. And, you know, the white legs will just trash Zion on their way through anyway. So it's like, well, if you want to protect Zion, killing the white legs is the right option, regardless of other consequences. I mean, that's just my personal opinion on the matter, but um, we need to fight the white legs. No, why? Oh, no hey, I love that. Why? Haven't you seen enough of what's going on here to see that the sorrows don't need to butcher the white legs for a piece of land? What Joshua wants is more than an attack. He wants a slaughter. And he needs more than you and the dead horses to do it. The sorrows can't be pushed into this. You and Joshua don't have the right to force them into it. Please, consider what I'm saying. <laughs> hmm. And you have the right to pull them off their land? I've already explained to them that we're leaving. They've accepted it. What is Joshua going to tell them about being a warrior? What are you going to tell them about how to live with themselves after they got lost in the moment? Killed someone who didn't deserve to die? Or does that not matter? Is that just an acceptable consequence if it means holding on to this valley? Maybe there is no place left in this world for mercy. But even if it tramples me into the dust, I will never accept it. And I will never condone it. Joshua must be waiting for you. I'll stay here with the others as I told them I would. Hmm. Yep. Hey, leveled up again. 
All right, where's that list? That's three levels up I've had in the space of one episode. That's a lot of levels up. All right, what we got? Uh, what we on level thirty-four? There we go. Excellent. Yeah, things are looking pretty good. I mean, we're already in the low seventies. The lowest number we've got is 72, so, you know, we're getting on quite well with that. We've still got a whole bunch of levels left to go. All right. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I nearly swallowed the wrong way there. Next up, we've got Commando, because of course we do. I'm going Commando. No, wait, hang on. Thank you for this. I know Daniel doesn't approve. But destroying the White Legs is the only way to ensure the Sorrows can remain in Zion. You and I will lead a group of Dead Horse Warriors and Sorrows Hunters into Three Marys from this position. Our objective is to find the White Legs leader, Salt Upon Wounds, and prevent him from fleeing. Show no quarter to the White Legs we come across. Make no mistake about why we are here. This is an extermination. Let's do it. God be with you. I don't need God. I've got guns. All right. So, if memory serves, I'm pretty sure there are little side quests. I need to remember where they are. Hold up for one moment. Um, I can't remember if you need to go to a specific location in order to do it, or hang on. Should have left the page open. I closed it because I'm an idiot. No, hang on. No, I did leave it open. I did. Apparently I am an idiot in more ways than one. Right, okay, so hang on a second. Just need to Ah no, that's not right. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hmm. Yeah, I think it just happens as you're going down. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Could can't ne can never remember the specifics. Still, it's fine. We'll try to do all three of them. We're off. Hello. That didn't work. That did. Come on, let's just get this over with already. Did you say something? Don't try to hide from me. I'm not hiding from you. Bloody weirdo. Okay, right, let's keep it going. You always have to do this at night. Maybe during the day. This place looks better during the day. It looks nicer, cleaner. Oh, hello, what the hell? Gotcha. Well, hello. Where the hell did you come from? Let's keep it going now. Hopefully I can 
polish this DLC off before I have to finish the episode. Hopefully, anyway. We'll see. I've got a quarter of an hour. It should be plenty of time. Woohoo! Oh, that was really stupid. <laughs> I thought that water was deeper. Oh, God. Uh, okay. Apparently, I'm an idiot. Because, of course, I am. Hello, I see you. Hold still. Go on then, do yours. Fine, I'll do it then, shall I? Hope your bandages aren't getting too wet. Go up here. None of those mini quests have kicked off, which is. I don't know, are they actually active now? I've just been a complete total idiot and I've missed them. No, they're not there. That's weird. Why have they kicked off? Hang on a second. Oh, that's a flight from Zion one. Oh, is it? Really? Wait, do they all go if... Oh, they're flight from Zion quests. Oh. My mistake. I thought they were active regardless, but apparently no. They're only active if you do flight from Zion, not in from... Um, not if you do crushing the white legs. Hello. Sources confirm that Resident Evil 3 Remake is in development. Yes, um, I actually started five minutes late today because I literally read about that um, as three o'clock rolled around. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to delay my stream for just a few minutes. I just need to check this. I just died. Uh, but yes, I've been here. I mean, there's been a lot of rumors about the Resident Evil 3 remake for a while. Um, most people seem to think <coughs> that it's going to be announced at the Game Awards, which would be cool. Um, but that's that's three weeks away, <laughs> so um, I guess we'll see. And there are rumors that it'll be out next year, if it is out at all. Um, where the hell am I going? The wrong way, that's where I'm going. Um, so yeah, I've heard a lot of rumors about the Resi 3 remake. Some people are even speculating that Project Resistance may actually be a mini-game within Resident Evil 3, which I think is kind of wishful thinking in that regard, uh, because they're not very happy with Project Resistance. I can understand that. Um... So it's interesting. It's a case of we'll see what it's like. Um, I'd be very curious about it, certainly. Nope, oh, that's the wrong button. Well done. Damn it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, considering how good the Resident Evil 2 remake was, uh, which was very good, for the record, um, I know it's being voted as a potential for, or it's being, like, uh, nominated for Game of the Year 
which, yeah, I could totally see that being the game of the year. It was a genuinely amazing game. Uh, I don't know what the other nominations are in that category. I'd imagine there's probably quite a few of them. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, maybe it's a thing of like, hey, if we reveal that Resident Evil 2 Remake is the uh, game of the year, we'll also, like, say... Let's destroy this. Oh, God, that's a shame. Uh, you know, we'll show everybody that, hey, look, Resident Evil 3 Remake's being done. There are rumors that the Resident Evil 3 Remake has been outsourced to another company. I don't know if that's true or not. But it's like, you know, Capcom basically said to this other group, hey, you make the Resident Evil 3 Remake because we're busy with other things and it'll give us a quicker turnaround. You know, here, here's the RE engine. Go nuts. Um, oops, no, I don't need a tomahawk. And you know what, I'll take one just for the sake of it. God damn it. Ooh, ammo boxes. I forgot that happened. This is taking too long. We can't let salt upon wounds escape. I'm going to find a way around. God willing, we will finish this together. Yes. He tends to do that. Do I have enough speech to talk him down at the end? Hope so. I don't actually know what the amount I needed for that is. I mean, we've already got some really good games slated to come out next year. Uh, we've got the new Doom game. We've got Animal Crossing. Um, we've got well, we've got that new Half-Life game. If anybody's interested in that, um, so there's a lot of games that are coming out next year that look pretty decent. So if we just add Resident Evil 3 onto that list, sure, why not? You know. Sounds good to me. All right. Actually, let me just double check something real quick. Uh, no, close that down. No, no, did I? Oh, God damn it. Um. God, that's quite high, actually. All right, how close am I? Oh, I've still got ages to go yet. <coughs> Shit, <laughs> missed that. I 
I don't, what is my speech level actually? It should be plus, well it's plus 70. Speech is at 82, so if, so do I have a meeting people? Please tell me I have a meeting people. I have four meetings people, excellent. So as soon as I reach that point, I can quickly read up on how to talk people down from things. And then, hopefully, we can deal with that nice and easy. God damn it. Die already? Honestly, you're getting annoying. Game of the Year nominations were Control, Death Stranding, Smash Brothers Ultimate, Resident Evil 2 Remake, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Oh, hold that thought. And The Outer Worlds. Is that it? Huh. Fair enough. I figured there'd be more than that, considering the number of games that have actually come out. Right, how close am I now? <sighs> Still got a ways to go. What time is it? God, I find it happen. So much more time. Okay. Let's keep it going now. Wee, I saw that. Nope. Thank you. That's just game of the year. There are other categories. Oh yeah, I know that. I meant in general of, you know, uh, games that were really good. I mean, what happened to Metro Exodus? I really loved that. Oh well. Hello. God, here we go again. I got bigger fish to fry. Oh, shoot. Damn it. Hang on, let me last. Let me my last quick save. Didn't realize it was that early. I forgot it kind of jumps into it. All right, so if we take the meetings people around here. Here we go. We warned you at Syracuse, and you persisted. You took advantage of us at New Canaan to drive us out. And like the dogs of Caesar you are, you followed us to Zion. And now you stand on holy ground, a temple to God's glory on Earth. But the only use for an animal in our temple is sacrifice. Kale Wachene Hurry up. You understand me, don't you? Don't you? Out man. Kunaman, mad. He killed all white legs. You talk. 
You stop. This is what I signed up for. Let me talk to Joshua about this. Him hear you. Don't listen to this thing. His cries are those of a mad beast caught in a thicket. He gave no mercy to my family, and I will give none to his. You're sure you've already won. Look around you. There's no need to kill him. He has a debt to pay for what he's done, and I've come to collect. And so he's chosen to cower in the water like a dumb animal. Hey, speech nicey. I was a bit worried that his talking at the start would like run the meeting people out. <coughs> that would have been a bit annoying. What you believe is true, he'll pay for it later. Sorrows don't need to see you do this. I want to take from them what they took from me, from my family. In this life. I want them to suffer. I want all of them to die in fear and pain. I want to have my revenge against him, against Caesar. I want to call it my own, to make my anger God's anger, to justify the things I've done. Sometimes I tell myself that these wildfires never stop burning, but I'm the one who starts them, not God, not them. I can always see it in my mind. The warmth and the heat, it will always be a part of me. But not today. Go. Get out of here. Go back. Back to the Great Salt Lake. Hey, Success! That's it. It's finished. Whoa, and I leveled up again. Thank you for... Wow. Stay. I couldn't have done this on my own. Let's go find Daniel. Tomorrow we'll be here soon. And there is much to do. Hey, there it goes. <laughs> wow, level 35. I've literally had four levels up just today. That's great. Alright, what's the lowest one? Energy weapons at 70. I want energy weapons up so that my gauss rifle gets better. All right, we're off. And so it was that the conflict between the new Canaanites and the White Legs was finally resolved. The courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. Demoralized by the dead horse and sorrows attack the courier and Joshua Graham led against them, the White Legs retreated to Great Salt Lake. Their days were numbered. Word soon reached the 80s tribe that the White Legs' spirit was broken. Their war chief, a dim shadow of his former self. By year's end, the 80s would overrun the White Legs camps, scattering the tribe to the winds and claiming the Great Salt Lake for its own. The Sorrows fought beside Joshua Graham and the dead horses, eradicating the threat the White Legs posed to Zion. Seeing the courier convince Joshua Graham to spare salt upon wounds, the Sorrows learned that retribution could be tempered by mercy. Though he despaired at the Sorrows' loss of innocence, Daniel took some small consolation in the courier's lesson and prayed it would take root. Having helped eradicate the White Legs from Zion, the Dead Horses returned to Dead Horse Point in triumph. They remained neutral toward the sorrows, but as years went on, there were periods of competitive friction, even violence between the tribes. The new Canaanites, Daniel especially, intervened regularly as mediators, but found it difficult to reconcile the tribes' conflicts. The defeat of the White Legs and Zion marked a turning point in the fortunes of the Happy Trails Caravan Company. Every two months, the caravan met with the new Canaanites in Zion Valley to trade. Happy Trails soon returned to prosperity. The vigilance of the sorrows and dead horses in defending southwestern Utah, initially startling to Happy Trails caravans, soon proved a blessing. The tribes united against the Aves, driving them back from Highway 50, and thus opening yet another trading route for Happy Trails caravans. Follows Chuck took the courier's words to heart and decided that he would behold the sights and sounds of distant lands with his own eyes and ears. After returning to Dead Horse Point, 
He quarreled with his family and other tribe members about his ambitions. One morning, they awoke to discover that Boloschok had set off alone, westward, into the wilderness. He was never seen again. Waking Cloud was distraught when she learned of her husband's death, but took comfort from her tribe and the compassion of the new Canaanites. She forgave Daniel for having concealed her husband's fate from her and learned to accept his fate. When her grief faded, she took a husband from the Dead Horse tribe. At her bidding, he stayed close to home. The threat of the White Legs ended. Joshua Graham helped the Sorrows and Dead Horses tend to their fallen comrades and secure Zion. The Courier's words had stayed Joshua's wrath in his darkest hour, and in sparing salt upon wounds, he was changed. While he continued to advocate militant opposition to the enemies of New Canaan, he sometimes showed quarter to those who crossed his family. Eventually, this new spirit would diminish the myth of the burned man in distant lands. A small price for the peace it brought to Joshua Graham. For years after the defeat of the White Legs, Daniel did his best to minister to the Sorrow's spiritual needs. Try as he might, he could not hold back the tribe's increasing militancy and reverence of Joshua Graham. Demoralized, he returned to his family and Dead Horse Point. His failures haunted him for the rest of his days. And with that, the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland. And with that, I think I'm done for today. <laughs> so you get a bunch of free shit in this box here. Um, quite a lot of it, actually. I'm pretty sure this is relatively heavy scripture for some reason. Uh, can I take all of this? I can. Brilliant. Wonderful. Um, so yeah, here's what I'm going to have. Here's what's going to happen. Obviously, I gotta stop it now because I gotta go because we're already uh, past. Um, take it all. Yeah, I was gonna take it all. It was just a question of like, um, could I carry it all in terms of like weight and stuff? Um, so yeah, here's here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna stop now because I'm out of time. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go cook some food because I'm actually feeling very hungry. Um, so I'm gonna go and do that. Um, at some point before I stream this next week, I'll just lug all this stuff back and sort out my inventory before I start streaming again, because you guys don't really need to see all that nonsense. So yeah, by the time we start up next week, we'll be back in New Vegas, we'll be back in the Mojave, and we'll be doing whatever the hell we end up doing next. I really don't know. You know, I have no idea what we're going to do next. But hopefully that'll be good fun, and um, hopefully I'll remember to do that at some point this week. Thank you all for watching everybody, I do hope you have enjoyed this, and I will see you all whenever I next see ya. Take care out there everybody, bye bye.